The caller told police she saw those two boys running around these na this neighborhood with those pellet guns shooting at cars. Police tonight, they have a message for parents and kids. They say this kind of play is dangerous and can even be deadly. There's two, um, two black kids run, going down the road with BB guns. Pointing at a car shooting on uh, Ocean Avenue. One's got a Spider-Man shirt on. Officer Mark Son says when he pulled up to this Boynton Beach neighborhood, he immediately spotted the unusual suspects. Two boys age 11 and 10 and a weapon in the grass nearby. Son says at first glance, he wasn't sure what he'd found. I had to get down on my hands and knees and get within a foot of it to actually read the very fine print on the side of these weapons that said, you know, pellet BB gun. Son says officers must respond to reports of weapons fired, fake or not, the same way as a matter of life or death. Um, the situation could have turned out very bad had, you know, maybe we had a little bit less of an experienced cop or if they had them in their hands and pointed it in the wrong direction towards one of us or, you know, like I said, even a, just a citizen in the community that's licensed and armed to carry. Police say the kids admitted to skipping school, stealing BB guns and firing them. But no victims came forward, so the boys were sent home to their parents. Still, Son saw a teachable moment. I mean, you have literally split-second thoughts and decisions to make to fear whether your, your life can be taken or harmed. Posting a picture of the lifelike toys to the Boynton Beach PD Facebook page with a warning shared more than a dozen times in one day. And that's what I think the think fast you know, means. A message he says could save lives. Now, Son says that shooting BB guns at a moving car can be grounds for criminal mischief and vandalism charges. But of course, those boys have not been charged because, as Son said, no victims have come forward.